Matty, after a quick break with two cup games, we're back to the league against Peterborough United. As it is, it's always going to be a tough test against Peterborough. Um, yeah, Peterborough's sort of a tough game, but I think we've done well in the last couple of games, so we're building momentum. So hopefully we can keep building and come away with a good result. For you to test yourself against Premier League players against Burnley, that's exactly what the cup competitions does, and that must have been a great experience for you. Yeah, it was good. Like Obviously, you want to play against the best players and the best teams, and Burnley is a very good team, so it's good to test yourself and see what you can do. How did you assess your performance against Burnley and against Northampton? Luke, Luke after the game, was full of praise for your performance. Um, I think I came on, done well against Burnley. Um, could have done a bit more, but yeah, didn't really get into the game as much as I wanted. And then Northampton, I thought it was a more def defensive display for me. Not really attacking too much, but I thought I did well against Northampton. You're the type of player, you know, after the game, loves looking at your clips to see how you've done, loves reviewing your game, you're always speaking to the analysis team, or do you just sort of take the game and then move on to the next one? Um, I watch my clips a lot. I see what I can do better and what I've done well. But, I like, I try to move on to the next one quickly. Like, if it's not a great game or a good game, can't think about it. You have to move on to the next one. Played Peter United recently, so we're going to know what they're about. But in the same breath, we're, they're going to know what we're about. It's sort of not an advantage for either team, really. Um, I feel like everyone knows the style of play we play, especially the way we do it and the way we like to play. But I think it's just about us, really. You can't focus on the other team. If we do what we need to do, then should come away with a good result. We'll stop talking about it soon because you, you are now one of the senior members in the first team. You're playing most weeks. But just how much have you enjoyed this breakout campaign you're having? No, I think it's been fantastic for me. Thankful to all the staff that's helped me get to where I am today. But I need to keep going. It's like only the beginning. Russell sort of got this team with the perfect balance. There's a lot of young players I like to view. David Kasumu, Warren are all making an impact, but then he's got the experience there as the likes of Louis and Andrew Sermon who are helping out. How important are them older players for your development? I think it's the most important because we take little bits from their game. They help us, give us, give us advice. So it's always good to have them players that keep on you and telling you what you can do better, what you've done well. So it's good and it's important for us. Talking about keeping on you, you play right next to Dean Lewington. I imagine throughout the game he's always talking through you, always coaching you through the game and afterwards giving you words of advice. Yeah, like, I can't have no one better to be honest. Like, he knows everything, he's played 800 games plus. So yeah, it's probably the best person for me to be next to. And how much do you enjoy him playing for Russ? He's always speaking highly of you and his, his football is one that seems to suit you down to a tee. Yeah, I um, enjoy it a lot. I like the way we play. Um, I think it suits me. And yeah, I'm just thankful to everyone for giving me the opportunity and happy I've repaid them with some good performances. An incoming last week in Ethan Laird and he seems to be exactly what you are but on the right hand side you must be looking forward to linking up with him on the pitch. Yeah no I'm excited to play with him he's exciting he's a good guy as well so I can't wait to be on the pitch with him. And Charlie Brown as well I imagine in training this week it's about getting used to the runs he makes getting used to how he likes to play football before putting it together on the pitch. Yeah we just need to like develop and stand on the pitch together but I'm sure that will come. Cheers, Matthew.